off. I finally downloaded uh, Life is Strange Episode 5 is finally downloaded. So I'll play some of that and then I'll end the stream. Hold on, guys. What they gave me. Whoa, you did it. I knew you could do it, man. The mom was nice. The dad was kind of a weenie. But we got chips. You kicked serious ass. And I'm allowed to say that.
Hello there. City kids. Hey. Hi. Good evening. Yes. Can I help you? You don't look like you're from around here. We're camping. Yeah? Where? I... I can't remember the name. It's not far. I see. So you came here to bother my customers? No. No way. We just asked them for directions. So where are your parents? We're with our dad. Hmm. That makes sense. How come he's not here with you? He went hiking, so he told us we could hang out and explore. Oh, that sounds fun. What trail did he go on? Uh, I'm not sure of the name. Yeah. If you say so. Weird to be in here after the forest. Like another world. Go on. It's actually free. Cool. Thanks. It's a real nice map. You'll find lots of great hiking trails around here. Oh, there are dozens of these. Like what are you Lego? doing research? It's, uh, not for you. Why? Like dirty stuff? Yuck. It's, uh, adult stuff. I'm nine years old. I know these kind of things. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you do. What's your name? Danny. Hey, hi. Uh, sorry about my brother. <laughs> uh, don't be. He's awesome. I know what you're thinking. What the hell is this creep looking at? Uh, no, I don't mean... I mean... It's not as weird as it seems, though. These people, they only want to live a normal life. Just... naked. I mean, if they're not harming anyone, who's to say they're wrong? Nobody? Yeah, I agree. Yes, why should we all be the same? Who says so? <laughs> Never mind. I'm getting carried away. Name's Brody. I'm kind of an online traveling journalist. Sean. What's a online traveling journalist? Just a fancy name for someone who drives around in a car, writing about people and stuff. There's a few websites that pay me for these papers since I know how to write. Nice to meet you, man. You traveling with your brother? Our dad's with us. We're going south. Good for you. The best way to learn is on the road. The earlier, the better. Well, I'd love to talk and avoid work all day, but I'm already up against the deadline. Safe travels, dudes. Thanks, man. See you around. Ooh, Sean. Check it out. It's a raccoon costume. I want to 
I'll be a raccoon. Okay. See you later, Mr. Raccoon. Dude, I know. Oh, man, that is so cool. Stop looking at me, please. I'm trying to shut. It's better than tap water. At least it's got a lot of sugar. Keep our energy up. they did. What? The fuck not. Hey, what about that? We could I use that. We still oh, um, what's that? What's your name, huh? You're so cute. Aw, you want to come with us? Aww. Hey, check out the puppy! Well, let's see. I'm willing to adapt to their idiosyncrasies. Yeah, yeah. it's a dog. Oh, a puppy! Sure. Super cute doggy. You ready? Is this yours? No, just another stray mutt. Aw, he must be sad. What's his name? That's a she. Oh, right. Oh, can we have the puppy, please? Sorry, man. No way we're taking a dog with us. We need adults to take care of her, not kids. See? Sorry about that. Now let's go. But... Who sends postcards? Boring. It's okay. Do not click on that. Hey, don't bother her. Sorry about that. Uh, uh, I'm talking to her. He sure likes to chat. <sighs> yeah, he talks a lot. <sighs> Whatever. I do not talk too much. <sighs> you always say that. But that's not true. Is she laughing at us? <laughs> don't laugh at She's Zomboy. She's staring at Silly you. Witch. I want to get one of those for my room. She was so cute. Stay away. <sighs> this sucks. We can't have her. 
Starts with an M. A lot of letters. Forget it. Only four letters. <sighs> nah. She keeps looking at me. Can't go wrong with these. Oh my god, this is the coolest thing ever! Hey! Come here! Check it out! Look! Uh, hey, do you maybe have like an extra coin? I should turn this thing off. Looks like you're all set to go. Is that it? Yeah, I think so. Okie dokie. Let's ring you up. And there's the damage. Ouch. Okay. We got that. Thanks much. All right, here's your change. Cool. Thanks. Do monsters drink? Hey, look, empty table. Uh, let's grab it and check out this map. It's our table now. <laughs> yep. Let's see. What do we got here? This is a ton of food. I thought we were broke. Not today, Daniel. So let's grub out. This is our treat. Really? You got me a choco crisp? Of course I did. You deserved it. Where are you guys off to now? Uh, south, I guess. Right on. Pro tip, don't feed the bears. <laughs> See you later. Whoa, that's a big map. <sighs> yeah, hope I can read it. Is this supposed to be Washington? I don't recognize anything. Yeah, me neither. But we have to be somewhere in there. Hey, I know. We're here. There's a gas station. See? Nah, no way. We were near Mount Rainier yesterday. But it's miles away now. Let me show you where we are, okay? Yeah, okay. We slept at that trout trail thing. Then we walked south for a while. Hmm. We have to be somewhere southwest of Mount Rainier. All right. 
This is it. Are you sure? <sighs> yes, it is. It's next to the river we camped by yesterday. Here we are. Okay, so can we go there tonight? Are you kidding? It's way too far. You want to walk a whole week again? Oh, cool. Hold on. I'll find where we can go. Hey, kids. Looks like you're out camping. Oh, yeah. Just going over trails and stuff. Seems dangerous to be out here all alone. But maybe you're the ones who need to be watched. Huh? What do you mean? We sure just... hope you pay for all that. We don't tolerate shoplifters. Uh, sir, we paid for this. And the map was free. Well, let's go inside. You can show us what you bought. Uh, no, thanks. We have to go. Nope. You're going inside. Don't make this worse for yourself, kid. Oh, I will. Uh, excuse us, sir. We were just hiking, I swear. Then let's find out if you're telling the truth. Come on. Uh, but we have to get going. Sean, uh, they uh, so. Do they it's okay. Here, Look, our, our dad is waiting for us. Okay. You can call him from our phone. Now let's go. Don't touch me. Don't do it, boy. Let go. Uh, Don't touch my brother. <sighs> Officer Buell? It's Hank. Hank Stamper. Listen, I caught myself a couple of fugitives you might be interested in. Mm. Oh, they ain't going anywhere. Don't you worry. You got okay, the overboard. Fine. Thank you. What the fuck? Where am I? Oh shit, Daniel, no, no, no. But they can't run but so far. Let's see, bitch. That was interesting. But this place got my life. Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa. Whoa. 
What did you find? Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. We can't trust anybody except each other. You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. What are you doing in my dorm? You are so fucking dead! Ah. Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. <sighs> Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. What are you doing here, Max? Victoria has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Oh, no. Chloe. Look how. What the fuck? Chloe? What? Where? It's a dark room. I'm free. Almost. I hate 
hate looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. God, I don't remember anything that happened. This must be the same drug Nathan used on Kate. I don't remember anything that happened. This must be the same drug Nathan used on Kate. I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. This angle highlights your purity, see? The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. He's a weirdo. Oh, Christ. Look at that perfect face. Hold that stare there! Stay still! Max! You fucked up my shot! But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now, I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes, I still hate that word. But I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Let me try this angle. Don't move! Oh. <sighs> Much better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows, and an eye for a whole lot more. As his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Oh, good. Oh, those eyes. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone, and you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe, right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed, that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history, like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised. Or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe a new dose will calm you down. Now don't move or this will hurt much. Stupid! Bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter, though. 
I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. No. Remember my number one rule. Always oh. take oh. the shot. Oh, Jesus. I can't believe that happened. So sick. like to smash that fancy camera into Jefferson's face. couldn't handle stains on his photos. Good. Now I can use them. Wait. Jefferson couldn't handle stains on his photos. Good. Now I can use them. Whoa. I I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. Whoa. I I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. This might work. Please work. I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you, your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here, replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max, I'm so glad you asked that question. As simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura and those lucky few become my <coughs> models my subjects yes you're a psychopath and this is your last session au contraire max i'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now and don't get me started on your late partner i had enough of those faux punk sluts in my seattle days You killed Chloe. You murdered my best friend. She had a loaded weapon. This was clearly self-defense, but that's what happens when you play with guns. Or try to fuck with me. It's better when they don't know. Like pure, sweet Kate. Blah, blah, blah. God, I hate your voice now. You might as well savor it, considering it's the last you'll hear. Oh. <laughs> that struck a nerve. Your face changed color. Beautiful. You will not get away with this. 
I want you to know that. Too bad you already made a convincing argument against Nathan in the principal's office. Thank you so much for setting him up for me. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. You used Nathan. I prefer the term manipulated, like with an image. Nathan's was easy to twist around. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious dark room and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Hm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Chloe and Rachel. You killed both of them. They're fucking together in heaven right now. Is that what you want to hear? Why? 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 Start listening to me, you dumb cunt. I'm sorry, Max. <laughs> that was not cool, anyway. Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so... Look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You're good because you stopped your friend from beating Nathan up. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here by your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard, so I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. Sorry, this oh, is not this art. One. This is purity personified. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. Wait, please, uh, Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures, especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. Let me go and I'll help you. Let me help you, please. Don't beg. Never beg. Anyway, let's enjoy our final moment before I have to end our memorable session with your dad. You better ask him something else. Oh, no.
Okay. Wait. Please. Mr. Jefferson. Max. I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures. Especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. Could you... Could you show me the photos? That's the first time one of my models down here has asked me that. <coughs> of course you would. But I love that the last thing you'll ever see is yourself through my camera eye. Too perfect. You better ask him something else. Okay. Wait. Please. Mr. Jefferson. Max. I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures, especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. What? What are you going to do to me? I'm going to make you live forever in my photographs. That's all that will be left of Maxine Caulfield. They won't even find your bag. You better ask him something else. Oh, no. I have all one. those photos in my diary. This, this, this could be a way out. Solidified. I have all those photos in my diary. This, this could be a way out. Yourself now. Okay. Now, let- Wait! Please, Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these I pictures. Especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. You... you still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh, look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. Oh my god. I could go all the way back to the moment this all started. Oh, Max, this could be your chance to fix everything. For good.
I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb I'm word back. for a wonderful photographic trick. Right back where I started this insane week. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever photo again. portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? <laughs> the Daguerrean process. Oh. Well, that was easy, Max. Was it? Okay. Well, uh, okay then. So, uh, the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear, <laughs> defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Obviously, Max has read them. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday time Heroes to change time. The winter to San Francisco, where you'll be fed by the First, artwork. let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. And Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. I have to warn David about Jefferson and the dark room. All I need is David's number, and Jefferson is one text closer to life without parole. I hope I still love photography when this is done. Don't confuse the art with the artist, <laughs> bastard. I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Found you. For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else and take Jefferson down fast. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco and Jefferson You'll be going to prison. The past within the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? It doesn't matter what happens to me. I have to save Chloe. Hi, Kate. Oh, hey, Max. Kate, listen to me. I am. Always remember that you're not alone. I've got your back no matter what happens. So do a lot of other people. We all care. We're all here for you. You need to know that. Max, that makes me feel so blessed for the first time this week. I, I don't know what to say. That's okay. Neither do I. Maybe we could both use a hug. Thanks. You always know the right thing to do. I can't go past these photo boundaries, so I need to fix everything from here.
I still feel like the lighthouse is calling out to me. Mr. Jefferson, we need to talk. Uh. Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? I can see you're kissing ass again. Shut up, bitch. Nothing new. What did you just say? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? Not until Victoria knows that hiding behind a screen and posting videos of people is totally fucked up. You know how easy it is to hurt somebody? To destroy their life? Are you proud of yourself? If you have any feelings left, you should think about your actions. Listen, I, I didn't... Of course you did. You're so insecure, you can't even be happy with your own talent. You have to try and bring everybody down to your mean and ugly level. Okay, I do not have to listen to this bullshit. Do I, Mr. Jefferson? Well, it looks like you already did, Victoria. Then I guess I'm done talking. I sure hope so. Oh, wait, bitch. I'm not going to say I didn't enjoy that, but why? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh, that was easy. No, it wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh, I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell, the, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be innocent. Or guilty. Uh, well, and thanks for the photo, and maybe both of us will be jet-setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. Whoa! That's stuff that already happened. Okay. You're okay, Max. You're safe. On a plane. I hope I did everything right this time. Good work, David. beginning of the end for Jefferson and the Prescotts.
I have to admit, I love being called an artist. so weird to be in between realities. Everything is out of focus and in the distance. We're almost in San Francisco. I'm so stressed, but I'm so excited too. Aw, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. Chloe and I used to totally play the video game and watch him all the time. <laughs> when we were innocent. Please fasten your seat and stow any electronic gear until the plane is on the ground and at the gate. Thank you. We're starting our descent in a few minutes. It's a beautiful day in San Francisco with clear skies and cool 60 degrees. We hope you enjoyed your trip, and we thank you very much for choosing Pacific West Air. Come fly with us anytime. Uh, I don't think so. I'm hoping these airline seats get smaller so I won't have to fly at all anymore. How did you sleep? Hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. Just a bit. It's been a tough week at Blackwell. So I hope you'll forgive me. <coughs> between Mr. Jefferson and Prescott's. Things have been hectic, to say the least. I totally get it, Principal Wells. That's a smart way of telling me to stop whining. We are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I know I'm not exactly the guy you wanted in San Francisco, but we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am, and we're not even there. Christ, another nosebleed? Max, you're not just screwing around with time. San Francisco is so cool, and this gallery is huge. So is the buffet. If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long as I don't have to eat any caviar. This is your day, Max. You can do whatever you want. I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Work the room. I don't know. I, I feel so weird, like I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. Max. After this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. Hell, I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. Max, I'm gonna eat up that caviar so you don't have to. Uh, better get in there and start schmoozing. You know, I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. Come on, Max. After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. Wowzer, Max. You did it. Somehow. Jefferson was supposed I went to be from the dark room to this so gallery. Shocking. 
I think there's so many realities in Are you Max Caulfield? His work is going to be worth serious on your cash. I'm the art critic for Iris N Magazine, and we would love to include you in a piece about future trendsetters in photography. I'll send you the details this week, if that's okay. Congratulations for your piece. I know it's kind of simple, but I find this haunting. Oh, hey, you're the one who entered the self-portrait. Or actually, do you call it a selfie? Anyway, I was very impressed about how you subverted it to make all of your photo subjects the focus. Oh, very smart. Like, I do not understand art. Well, I have to say, this is the best everyday hero show I've seen since it began. All the pictures say a lot about our times. Bravo. I guess everybody is a photographer now. That is different. Loving the retro vibe. Hi, excuse me, you're Max Caulfield, right? Um, yeah. Yes. Sorry to bother you, but my name is Danny Lee, and I'm with the Berkeley People's Herald. I edit their art section, and I totally dig your work. Now, I know the whole ironic selfie thing is kind of played out, but there's something timeless about your images, so I I'd love to set up an appointment or, or interview with you when you get a chance. Uh, here's my card. So great talking with you, Max. You too, Danny. Bad exposure, bad framing, bad This picture. makes me feel so sad. So like I was back in high school. God. You must be the everyday hero from Blackwell. My name is Lauren Francis, and I run the media department at Detroit School of Visual Arts. I'd love to talk about you being a residency next spring. Don't say anything to Principal Wells yet. I wonder if I can buy these everyday heroes pictures. Sorry, I don't know your name. But I saw your picture in the gallery brochure, and uh, I just wanted to let you know how cool your entry was. How did these galleries afford to rent here? I guess I have to get used to the idea of fancy food I don't want to eat. Oh, hey, you're the one who entered the self-portrait. Or actually, do you call it a selfie? Anyway, I was very impressed about how you subverted it to make all of your photo subjects the focus. Oh, very smart. There I am, along with all the other winners. I should say, 
artists instead. Look at this print. Aren't you from Blackwall Academy? I wanted to go there, but I didn't get in. They have such a cool program. I bet you're learning a lot. Aren't you from Blackwall Academy? I wanted to go there, but I didn't get in. They have such a cool program. I bet you're learning a lot. Abel says that this is a print from a disposable camera. What are you talking about? Uh, yes, of course. I was meaning uh, like a disposable camera. Yes, yes. Uh, and don't contradict me anyway. <laughs> Whatever. Like, I do not understand art. Well, I have to say. This is the best everyday hero show I've seen since it began. All the pictures I guess say a lot about is a our times. Now. Bravo. Um, excuse me. I, I just wanted to tell you how much I loved your photograph. I've seen a lot today, but there's something powerful and understated in yours. I can't wait to see much more of your work in the future. Nobody I can't place. believe I'm in San Francisco. How can I process this after all the death I've seen this week? I always get so inspired whenever I come. Hey, I love your shot. I just wanted to say congratulations, and I hope you get this a This makes lot me feel attention. so sad. Like I was back in high school. How did these galleries afford to rent here? So, how are you handling your new fame as a photographer? I don't feel like a famous photographer yet. Every journey starts with the first step. I'm only a Blackwell bureaucrat, not an artist. But you've made us proud with the great response to your work so far. It's kind of surreal to be here after everything that happened at Blackwell. All the more reason to celebrate your success. Maybe I feel guilty for celebrating. Leave that to me. I... I should have been more proactive about Kate Marsh and her awful situation. She's strong, and I'm glad she made it out of that hell. I should have put my foot down with Nathan Prescott. Or put my foot in his ass. It's not your fault. You didn't know what really happened. I know, but that's not a good excuse for a principal. And Jefferson had such a great reputation. Nobody expected him to be so disturbed. I couldn't believe the police found those sick photos in his dark room. Oh, those poor girls. At least he's in jail along with Nathan for kidnapping and murder. And Sean Prescott is now under serious investigation for all his years of corruption. Money and power can only protect you for so long. Arcadia Bay. The irony is that for once, Sean Prescott actually had no clue what was going on with Jefferson, and he even brought him to Blackwell. Wow. I'd like to think there's some karma involved. The Prescotts have had this coming. I do believe that what goes around comes around. I just hope it's all good for a change. I'm hoping this is a fresh start, Principal Wells. Like I said before, you're an adult now, Max. 
You can call me Ray. Oh, at least for this event. Now, if you'll excuse me, I hear the buffet calling me again. I heard Mark Jefferson was supposed to be here tonight. Not anymore. That was so shocking. I have one of his monographs, too. Hold on to it. His work is fantastic. Wow, sir. A Danny Lee article. I need to drop some serious cash in there. Why, good morning. You must be Max Caulfield. Congratulations for your everyday heroes photo. The exhibition is quite impressive, especially with your entry. Asher from my room is so okay. Yeah, look for her so I wonder if I can buy these everyday heroes pictures. And there she is to save the day. Hi. You did it, Max. You're a real artist. At least for today. Are you okay? We lost uh, you there for a second. Your notes. I'm okay. Uh, jet lag. High altitude. Wow. Oh, you left the ringer off, idiot. Oh, come on. Please answer. What? Oh no. Chloe, where are you? I'm so fucking scared. I'm, I'm by the beach. I'm, Chloe, I'm can you hear me? Hello? Going by the beach Hello? Tornado. Oh my god. The tornado was real. Oh, I didn't fix shit. Chloe will die. Arcadia Bay is going to be destroyed. There has to be a way to stop this. For good. Go back to that photo that she's gonna come back. No fucking way. Chloe can't die. Again. I have to save her. I know it's kind of simple, but I find this haunting. Right? The instant print makes it look tiny. How do these galleries afford to rent here?
Excuse me, I'd love to ask you a few questions about your work. Sorry, but... My previous timeline was so... I just have to make one simple change so I won't end up in San Francisco. Simple. Sorry, San Francisco. Chloe comes first. Here again? I thought I fixed everything. What did you say, Max? What? Jefferson should be in jail, not here. Jesus. It's like you're back in my class. You're still spacing out. It might be cool if you took one of your patented selfies now. The transformation between the old Max and the new Max. Anyway, answer my question, please. Fuck you. Good answer. Good answer. Hey, your nose is bleeding. Probably gave you too big a dose. Sorry about that, Max. But considering you're about to die, a nosebleed is a first world problem. Your iris, that dilation like a shudder. The pictures you're taking of me now. Too bad you pissed away your gift. You could have won the contest, but you destroyed your own beautiful photograph. What a waste. Sorry, I burned all your stuff. I got a little carried away. Fuck. He you burned my diary. Always That's why I'm still here. Especially since you've developed from nerd to hero within a week. There's something... weird. Whoa, did you see how crazy it is outside? Like I said, something weird. There's that fear. Oh, Max, it's an honor working with you on these final sessions. I hope these images will be appreciated for what they truly capture. The loss of youth. <laughs> At least, that's the last lecture you'll ever have to hear from me. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Mr. Jefferson, please, don't do this. You don't know what's happening. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. Quiet, Max. Please, don't do this.
I promise. This final dose won't hurt. What? Damn! Get him, David. No, David, no! Jesus. David, Matt! I promise. This final dose won't hurt. David, watch out! How? How did you know that? David, watch out! How? How did you know that? Jesus. David Madsen. He's out cold. Good. I always hated that fascist fuck. Every... I promise. This final dose won't hurt. What? You know that. <sighs> Jesus. They I promise. This final dose won't hurt. What? David, watch out! Time to shut the fuck up, okay? Oh. Bad timing, Max. Too early. David, watch out! How? How did you know that? Jesus. David Mads. He had a gun. He's up. David, watch out. How? How did you know that? Jesus. David Madsen. G Jesus. David Madsen. David, watch out! Time to shut the fuck up, okay? David, watch out! How? How did you know that? David, watch out! How? How did you know that? You know that. <sighs> Jesus. David Madsen. He's out cold. Good. I always hated that fascist fuck. 
Everybody at Blackwell did, right, Max? Okay. Okay. Jesus. David Madsen. Jesus. You know that. Time to shut the fuck up, okay? David, watch out! Time to shut the fuck up, okay? David, watch out! Time to shut the fuck up, okay? David, watch out! How? How did you know that? Jesus. David Madsen. that.
Raven, watch out! How? How did you know that? Jesus. Jesus. David Madsen. He's out cold. Good. I always hated that fascist fuck. David, watch out! Time to shut the fuck up, okay? David, watch out! How? How did you know that? Jesus. Jesus. David Madsen. He's out cold. No more nosebleeds. Wait, hold on. Can I... Can I please ask you for one last... request? Oh... You got me, Max. How can I deny that face? Would you... Uh, take... one last picture of me? I... I want to be your best subject. I almost don't believe that, but I think you finally learned from me. This final dose won't hurt. What? David, watch out! How? How did you know that? Get the camera next to you! No gun. No balls. Jefferson, it's over! You are not going to stop me! Jefferson, it's over. Jefferson. Jefferson, it's over. You are not going to stop me. David, kick that table. Yes, sir. Oh. It's going to stop. David, kick that table. Yes, sir. It's over. Grab your gun now. Got it. Oh, Christ. It's over. You are not going to stop me. Oh, shit. It's over. Grab that bottle. You are not going to stop me. Grab your gun now. Got it. Stop me. David, kick that table. Yes, sir. Oh. Sorry, guys. I can't. It's David, over. Kick that 
table! Yes, sir! <clears throat> Jefferson, it's Grab your over. Gun now. Got it. Oh Christ, David Madsen, you are one stupid son of a bitch. So don't blame me. It's over. Grab your gun now. Got it. Christ! David Madsen, you are w What? It's o- It's over! Grab that bottle! For you are not going to stop me! He's hiding a gun over there! Jefferson, it's He's over. He's hiding a gun over there. It. Jefferson. Jefferson, it's He's over. He's hiding a gun over there. It's David, over. Kick that table. Yes, sir. <clears throat> David Madsen! I always hated that mustache. You hated him too, Max. It! It's over! Grab your gun now! Got it! It's over! You are not going to stop me! Oh, Lord, Max. Are you okay? Are you all right? Can you move? Yes. Thank you, David. Thank you. Don't thank me. You brought me here. Don't go back on it, Jimmy. Let's wrap up this wrap son up. of a bitch first. He won't be going anywhere when he wakes up. Except you are going to prison forever. Or worse. Mr. Jefferson, now it's your turn to be captured in a moment. Save Chloe. He burned everything, including all of my photos. Warren, yes. I can use that picture he took of us. Shit, no signal. Okay, I'm gonna stop this here. And I'm gonna end this here.